If you can run Minecraft smoothly, then you can most likely also run RLCraft as long as you know what settings to change. Go to Options, Video Settings, and set Maximum Frame Rate to Unlimited. And for demonstration purposes, I'll be turning on Show FPS. One of the most impactful features in RLCraft is better foliage. You can disable it by pressing F8 and then switching this to False. What do you lose? You lose those additional sprouts of foliage coming out of leaves, cacti and so on. I personally don't like it so I disable it regardless because it makes things look too blurry. Next up I suggest changing the render distance to normal. This will do you two favors. First of all, in large mod packs, unless you have graphic enhancing mods like better foliage, the main increased performance cost derives from calculating all the new and unique mob AIs. A smaller render distance makes less mobs active at the same time. Worse even, performance-wise at least, a lot of mobs in a craft have infighting, so even in the background, actual combat is simulated, and not just them wandering around. The second favour is that, since we've concluded that mobs only spawn or become active if their chunk is rendered, knowing that dragons wander around a lot, and therefore potentially travel and destroy a pretty large radius around their nest, if you find a dragon, turn tail and run, since his chunk is no longer within your render distance, you've pretty much prevented him from destroying any potential valuable villages in his area of influence. The main downside is that since Oldcraft has pretty insanely large pre-generated structures, you're more likely to be affected by them the smaller your render distance becomes. Here's an example. There is some kind of structure here because it's not loading in. Why is it not loading? Oh. Wow. It was, the chunk was so large I was actually already on top of it. You can also customize or disable particles by pressing P. You can disable them by pressing this button over here. Disabling particles mostly helps in preventing lag spikes, but if you're already at 40 or 60 FPS, then there's no need to disable them. The next major performance boost requires you to install Optifine. Make sure it's Optifine 1.12.2 E3. The other ones have some issues with their craft. All you have to do is download it and move it into your mods folder. You can find the download link and additional details in the description. Once Optifine is installed, open Options, Video Settings, and switch Use VBOS on. Go to Performance, and turn on Fast Math, Dynamic Updates, Lazy Chunk Loading, Render Regions and Smart Animations. Fast Render is known for causing bugs and it mustn't be used if you have a share, so at least in Oldcraft's case, keep it off. If all you wanted to do is boost your FPS, then I'd say you're done here. But if you still don't reach the desired FPS, you'll need to start disabling things that have an actual impact on the game's visuals. All settings that have a fancy or default setting should be switched to either fast or off. This includes graphics and smooth lighting. Most of these settings are found in details, like clouds, trees, sky and so on. You can read about their impact on the game just by hovering over the settings itself. So feel free to choose on which things to disable or not. If you're so desperate you can also decrease your screen resolution. Or turn off animations. That's pretty much it. If you'd like to familiarize yourself with actual modpack and game mechanics, I've made lots of guides and gameplay videos. Thanks for watching and bye!